Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trade Winds RV Center here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Mesa Ridge XLT 364BHS fifth wheel. You guys picked a beautiful unit here. I'm gonna walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration when parking on your campsite. At least your slide. Now, if you want, leave plenty of room for your audience to come in and out. Now on your off campsite, of course your slides again. Be plenty of room for them to come in and out unimpeded. Leave yourself a nice walking path because the next thing I want you to think about is where your power and water connections are going to be. Your power is going to hook up on this rear corner on your driver's side of your tow vehicle. And then your water or docking station is going to be in front of your slide here toward the front of the unit on the driver's side of your tow vehicle so park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite once you arrive we're going to unhook our hitch hitch man will go over this with you we you just hold these two arrows down that's in turn this light on once that light's on simply raise to get off your hitch once your truck is pulled completely away go ahead and lower the unit until you're level once you feel like you're almost level, you're simply just gonna to touch this auto level. That's gonna run all of your auto leveling systems down. Once they're down, we're gonna go ahead and lock all of our strong arms. Just remember to unlock these when you leave. Once you get everything down, put that on there nice and tight on all of them. These strong arms give you extra support. Let's get our unit level and stable. We can go ahead and hook up our power and water. Now again, you got this big long 50 amp cord. At the end of that 50 amp, if you had a campsite you need to plug into some 30, you have the 50 to 30 adapter, dog bone as we call it, and then a 30 to 110 if you ever need to plug in at home, you can throw that on there. Got your power hooked up, let's hook up our water. So again, our docking station is in this third compartment here they made it real easy we're hooking up for a campsite so we're hooking up to pump or city water red to the left blue down black to the right just match your diagram we're gonna hook up down here first and foremost your water pressure regulator this water pressure regulator is gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 psi protecting the lines in your unit I always use this when putting water in here hook that up Hook up your hose, but don't turn up our ho turn on our hose yet. Go right here to our hot water heater and make sure our drain plugs back in. We may have left it out from last time you were camping. Uh, get that in there nice and tight, throw some plumber's tape around there, then you can go ahead and turn that hose. After that hose has been on for a little while, we can go inside and deploy all, all of our slides. Our unit's level and stable. Then I want, I want you to do is go in and open up all of your water taps. Get all the air out of the lines, get a nice steady flow of water running through them, then you can shut them off. Then you can turn on your hot water heater from indoors. There is an on off electric element right here that's taped off. The only time you'll ever want to turn this on out here is if you're hooked up to 110. Now let's say we're gonna go camping and we're not gonna use city water. We're gonna go dry docking or boon docking. Then we're gonna turn all over everything to tank fill. All three units to the right, 
water pressure regulator in the same spot again turn that hose on now way to tell that's up full is go inside to your control panel where you check your battery and your black and gray tanks there's also a fresh water button hold that fresh water button down until this is full once it is full remove your hose put your cap back on here and then when you want to utilize that water you'll have to turn on your water pump inside don't turn on your water pump if you're using city water that's already pressurized all right, if you also want to winterize or bypass your hot water heater there, shows you how to do that. You also have a 110, cable hookups, lighting, black tank flushes, which we'll talk about when leaving the campsite. This is for your front bathroom, your rear bathroom. And then an outdoor shower here. Got that blue spray port that'll plug you into that. Also your indoor storage here. You also have a battery disconnect. This would disconnect all the battery power to the unit. That'll come important later when I talk about your carbon dioxide propane detector. Here's your Xander Trex inverter. Again, your auto leveling system. Your propane. Simply lefty loosey to open. Continuing down this side with your hot water heater. There's your extra dump freshwater drain that white handle down there those would be easier to access when the slide is closed and you're leaving the campsite back here's your black and gray holding tanks big storage here got a ladder utilize it go up there a couple times a year and check the seams of your roof and caulk as needed there's a prep for a backup camera as well Here's a low point drain for this sink. Got a fridge out here for your griddle. Push both of these down, pull that out, turn this up. That's gonna turn your gas on and you can't close that unless it's off. Take your hose right here. And it's gonna quick connect right here and to the back of your griddle. Push that down, push that in. You got a 110 out here as well. You have to be pushed out at the same time in order for that to slide in. Make sure you lock this. There's a manual override for a slide. Here's where you, oh, the griddle can sit. Connect to that as well. Your separate bathroom entrance great keeps people from walking through your whole unit just to use the bathroom your front slide your stairs let's say flue for your furnace two things on this one if you're running your furnace steer clear but it does get hot and two don't block it make sure nothing's blocking that the other side of your pass through storage your other propane you can just pull this back and pull this forward there's your regulator Simply lefty loosey to open, point it toward the tank you wish to be using. Let it slide and lock back in there. Wired for solar, you can plug in a solar panel here and that'll trickle charge your batteries. Speaking of batteries, check your battery posts when you arrive. Every now and then check them out, make sure those haven't wiggled loose going down the road. And that about covers everything on the outside. Here's your docking light. Those there. All right, let's go take a look inside your unit. All right, coming up inside your unit, first thing I always like to point out is fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone in this camp with you knows that the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway in case of an emergency. So as you come in, you lead it to your right here. This is going to be your control panel. I'm going to run your carefree awning out. What you do is turn that on, touch extend. And start to come out. Extend. 
you do is touch extend. That's an extend itself out. So run out into that flat falls down to 90 degrees. So roll itself up backwards, and you're all set. So bring that back in. Simply hit retract and turn on your front one. Extend that one out for you. While that's extending out. So lighting, lighting, porch lighting, hall lighting. All right, here's where you turn on your water heater hooked up to gas, your water heater hooked up to electric. Over here is where you turn on your water pump if you're using potable water. There's your eye. Put that out. I'm gonna hit retract. It's a little windy out there today. I'm gonna get that right back in. All right, over here is where we check our levels of your brand new battery, your fresh tank. That's why I said you can hold down to tell when your potable water is full. Your black and gray tanks. Here's your slide controls. And here's where you can hook up to the Ridgelink app and do all this from your phone. You're on and running back in. That's back in. Go ahead and close your door. Below that's gonna be your thermostat. Let's turn that on. Let's go to cool. Get your AC to kick on. Hear that running? You shut your AC off. And you'll see most of the times AC shuts off rather quickly. But now when I go to your furnace, we turn your heat on. And you can't read this, but down the bottom it says furnace for an 86. Hey, furnace just kicked on. Hear that running? You shut your furnace off. You'll notice that it takes a little bit longer for the furnace fan to cycle through and turn off. Below that, max air vent. Just hit on. That's going to open and turn on. You can have just the vent open or close. Change four different speeds on your vent or simply hit off and it's going to close it and shut it off at the same time. Below that, more lighting. Another 110. More lighting here for your pantry. So I've got on your island here real quick down the bottom is your 12 volt carbon monoxide propane detector. The reason I mentioned that's 12 volt, it's always running off your battery. So if you are going to be dry docking or dry camping somewhere and you have nothing plugged in charging your battery and you're going to be gone for the day, go ahead and use that battery disconnect up front to keep this running your battery down while you're gone. Residential fridge. Controls for that. Beautiful fridge. So right over that, self-explanatory microwave, convection microwave that does have a high and low light as well as a high and low vent. Turn your light back on. On your stove top, this glass top makes an excellent backsplash. Just set it up like so. Turn on your panel light. Turn this to light. Hit your spark and there's your flame. Same thing on the oven. No need for a pilot light anymore. Turn this to light. Push it to light it over here. Um, and then just set it to the desired temperature. No panel or uh, no pilot light on this. Point that down. There's your oven light. Storage up here below that. Coming in the living room to your TV, we have it snapped for travel. Find your remotes here real quick. Just turn your television on here. There's the TV working. Also remotes for the sound system. I'll turn it on by hand. Furion sound system. AM, FM, DVD, we have a TV sound. Let's go to mode on our remote. 
Change that to radio. Hit scan on a remote, try to get something to come in here. Put dual zoned, indoors, shut that off. Or out and outdoors. Nice sound system. Pick up better when we're not inside. Metal building here. Fireplace, remote for that as well. Not just for looks anymore. I can go through and show you the pretty color to make it brighter or dimmer. But the biggest thing is the heat, folks. Crank the heat up on this, and instead of using your gas, um, if you are at a campsite, instead of using your gas to warm it up, turn this electric on and it'll get toasty in here in no time. Come back to your big bunk room. Separate bathroom. Back here you also have a max air vent. And lady, plumbing. Keep an eye on it. You're bouncing the house down the road. Maintain your plumbing. Keep an eye on that. Oh, your lady, you have a vent up here. Your prep for a TV up here on this side here. Backer for that. 110 USB ports up there. Shut off our lighting. Secure a door for this room. Make sure you get more individual lighting to shut off up there. Which is one touch. On your sectional, you have a couple of tabletops, and underneath the storage are the legs for it. So I'm going to show you how to set these up. You got this little metal piece on the end. You want to turn these to the left so that's all the way out. You're going to come down here, pop that off, line that up with it. Now as you turn to the right, it locks it in and just set your table on top. Turn to the left to remove, put your cap back in here and store your leg and table away. I'm gonna show you how to set this section up into a bed. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to show you how to set this up from this angle here. You have Velcro cushions back here, just remove those. You have these two straps on the front, Let's grab them. Pull them toward you, lay it down, and flip our cushions back. Push and flatten them down. And just that quickly, there's your bed. So, we first process to put them all back, bring your cushions up, grab your straps, and lift it back up into place. Cushions. All this lighting up here is one touch individual lighting. Alright, let's go up into your hallway now. Make sure you're left on the bottom is your access panel to your breaker box and fuses. Coming up to the hall, everything that we can control on that panel down here, here's an electric panel for. Go to home, you can turn on your lights here, scroll through for your lights, control your slides, or go to devices, you can go to slides, your auto leveling, or your lighting. And you can bring them in and out. You can go to settings. And go back to home. Show you that working when we close the unit up. Coming into your bathroom here. Uh, main thing I want to mention in here. There is your RV grill that sets on the lip outside. Your power. Your lighting. And fan. 
hand crank open exhaust here you can shut this off here or here 110 with gfci reset in here come back in your bedroom here a couple things i want to say is prepped for what for uh tv back here you have your own thermostat let's go ahead and turn the air on back here Shut the air off. Got a quick dump on that as well. Now turn the heat on. Furnace. Again, that takes a little bit longer to cycle through. Now your bed. Pretty sure you know it reclines. Button right here. Adjustable bed. Blackout curtain. The shades. This will recline. All the way up into a sitting position. Well, it covers everything in here. Let's act like we're getting ready to leave the campsite and close everything up. I'll start up here. A couple things to mention. Make sure that your bathroom door going into your bedroom is snapped open. In here, you shut off all of your lighting. Nothing is in the way of this slide from coming in. You have nothing on the floor in here. Same thing up here, doors and drawers. Make sure all doors and drawers are closed and secure. All your remotes will be right up in here with all your paperwork. Make sure your TV is strapped in. Went through, checked out lights. So I like to come here and shut off all my lights from there. Then I can see any individual lights I need to shut off. There's none. I can control everything from here. Make sure this drawer is closed. And we're going to hit slide in. Number one here is going to be our bedroom back here. I'm going to open this up so you can see this coming in. So I can control that from here. And I can also come up here to my control panel go to devices go to slides go to slide number one and you can bring it in from here as well slide is ready moving in gotta keep my finger on it Slides in. As I said, you can do all this from up there. Easier from here. Number two, hit in. Uh, the table I showed you, you can set up here. You can set up another one down there. That table is underneath that storage end down there. There's your smoke alarm. Right above your kitchen area. See the importance of having that close. It comes really close there. And lastly, slide three, which is gonna be a kitchen side here. There it goes. See how these utilize about every inch they can in here. Just make sure everything's secure. So that's in, shut off our interior lights and exit the unit. Now closing these steps up, you want to make sure this exterior door is all the way open. Otherwise this could impede with the slot with your, hit your door. Set that up in there nice and then turn this handle either way. That's going to lock you in there. 
lock and deadbolt your exterior door lift and turn this handle now that door is secure for travel now uh, here are your steps i'm gonna fold in once twice at this point we're gonna unhook our cable our water and our power At a campsite, we'll dump those two. And if we're out dry docking, there's your freshwater drain. Lastly, come to your hot water heater. Lift up on this pressure release valve. That's gonna dump the remainder of your hot water heater, hot water out of your hot water heater. Pull that down and then you can pull your drain plug. Hook up your hitch and head on up to the dump station. Now at the dump station park accordingly, you got two places to dump here. You got a black and gray holding tank back here, as well as a black and gray up here. Because of the two bathrooms on this unit. Come in here, take your sewage hose if we're set, starting here in the front. We're gonna hook up here. Come in here and pull this left handle. That's see your black tank in the front. If it sounds like it's no longer draining, keep that handle open, again with your water pressure regulator, hook this up to the front blank, black tank flush, turn your hose on for a good five minutes and wash that black tank out. When that's done, close your black handle, remove this hose first, then close your black handle, pull your other handle, it's gonna be your cleaner waters, your sinks, your showers, and you can take your sewage hose and hook it up to the rear for your black holdy tank first and it sounds like that's no longer draining come up here and use your second black tank flush the same way as you did this first making sure you leave your black handle open run that hose for a good five minutes and wash all that nastiness out of your black tank come back here close that shut that hose off come back here Close your black holding tank, pour your gray. Again, cleaner waters, your sinks and your showers. That'll clean your sewage hose out for you. And Flagstaff actually gave you a sewage hose container. Conveniently and sanitarily store it right in there. Again, we thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this Mesa Ridge for many years to come. Happy camping.